Senos Cars was started in 2013. Uh, its founders are Mark Edwards and Ansar Ali. The idea behind the car was to make a fun, enjoyable car that is cheap to, own, cheap to buy and cheap to own. Yeah, sure. Well, it is uh, a traditional, lightweight British sports car. We've um, tried to use some um, new technologies and innovations to give us the edge over our competitors. Um, we've used uh, aluminium extrusions extensively. We've also used uh, recycled carbon fibre, which gives us uh, an edge as far as weight is concerned, but it's also a unique selling point uh, with, uh, with Zenos cars. This uh, is a section of the car, it's the, it's the front bulkhead of the vehicle. We have five components made of this material on the car, the front and rear bulkheads, the floor and the two body sides. Um, it's, as I said, made for re recycled carbon fibre, so we work with a company that um, retrieves offcuts of carbon fibre, it's then chopped and then sewn together into a matte format, and then with a polypropylene core, um, gives us this recycled uh, carbon fibre panel. Now it gives about 70% of the strength of regular carbon fibre, so still extremely strong. It has all the weight properties of regular carbon, so very light, but it's about a tenth of the cost, so it's a very affordable way of getting lightweight, recyclable material into our car. So this is, uh, when this material has been developed, uh, the guy behind the idea told me that he actually did go out to a well-known American diner and uh, took some straws from there and, and that was how he developed the core shape by sticking the straws together and cutting them layers. So this, this material, as John said, is we have two plies of carbon which is sandwiched either side of the polypropylene core and then we have full um, aluminium match tooling, so two-sided two tooling which then squashes the materials to give us the required shape at the end very affordable yes and it's for us uh, to get this technology onto a car at this starting point which is at £25,000 is incredible really and this is how we do it using the recycled material and it, it's, it's a nice thing to be using some recycled materials on a vehicle as well. So the chassis um, is, is made from al uh, extruded aluminium sections so we have a backbone spine that runs the full length of the vehicle so that um, is the basis of the chassis and then from there we have extruded aluminium bonded and mechanically fastened rear subframe. So the whole core of the car with the aluminium and the uh, lightweight carbon fibre gives a very stiff uh, chassis but also very lightweight as well. It is. Um, the way that we've used the recycled carbon fibre is state of the arts. The, um, the aluminium extrusions themselves are um, are very unique to us and combining the two does give us a very stiff, very agile but very um, affordable and responsible vehicle platform. Okay, I mean, the, the car has absolutely superb handling characteristics. Um, it, it is a very balanced car, it's a very predictable car. Um, it handles extremely well uh, and that's done through a combination of things. We have double uh, wishbones front and rear um, which obviously is a, a good foundation, good starting point. That's then coupled to uh, a lightweight aluminium upright, so that keeps the unsprung weight down as low as possible. On the front, we have a push rod suspension system, so something similar to you, that you'd find on a race car. Um, but that's then mounted to inboard Ilstein adjustable springs and dampers. Um, on the rear, we have, uh, again, double wishbones. Um, but what we've also built into the vehicle is, is full adjustability, so all around the car we can adjust the caster, camber and the tow angles. We can also adjust um, infinitely the, uh, the bump steer of the vehicle as well, so it's a very adjustable car. Now what that means is we can tailor the car to um, a driver's specific requirements, you know, whether it's um, you're going to be used extensively on a track or whether it's going to be road use. So it's a, a car that can be tuned um, to suit the driver's requirements. Indeed, and we do that for the majority of our customers. We encourage our customers to come in um, to be part of the build from an early point. Of, from an early point, we get them into the car. We can adjust the pedal box, adjust the pedal positions, um, the seat position. We can also then talk to them about how they're going to use their car and whether they want a track set up or a set up more more uh, adapt for road use. So yes, it's uh, it's fully customised for the for the customers' requirements. 
Yeah, we have, um, we have an, uh, three options on, on offer. We start at the base engine, which is a two litre Ford. That produces 200 brake horsepower, so that's our entry level, which you would get in the E10. The E10S then comes with, again, a two litre Ford engine, but this time it's a turbocharged engine. Um, that produces 250 horsepower and 400 newton metres of torque, so um, a very powerful engine. And with the car that we have here, the E10R, that is a 2.3 litre Ford engine, turbocharged, producing 350 horsepower and 475 newton metres of torque. Um, so we have uh, an extensive range from the normally aspirated 200 horsepower all the way up to, to this one at 350. Uh, the performance is, is electrifying. Um, the normally aspirated 2 litre will get to 60 in around 5 seconds. Uh, the 250 horsepower version will get to 60 in just a shade over 4 seconds. Um, and although we don't have any um, actual figures for the R at the moment, but we anticipate it being close to 3 seconds. We certainly do. Uh, this year is our first year of production and we've already exported 50% of our production. Uh, one of those cars has gone to Japan. Uh, we're working with our import partner, which is Art International. Um, and they are taking orders for E10s and E10Ss now. So we're really proud, we're really proud of this car, that the small team at Zanos have designed it. We've been out and sourced uh, bespoke extrusions and the carbon parts. So currently we're 98% of this car is sourced in the UK and then is assembled here at Zanos Cars in the UK as well. I, I honestly think it's, it's in our DNA over here. Um, we have an ability to come up with new products. Uh, what we've done here at Xenos is we started with the price and we've started with the driver. So the first two things we had was the price we wanted to sell it at and the, uh, a seating buck so that we could work out the driver's position in the car. And from there, we've come up with a product around it. It's taken us, uh, we're two years into the program now and uh, we have three, three models already on market, so we're very pleased with it. Yeah. Absolutely, I mean, we're, um, at the moment we've, we've sourced our parts from the UK, but as we grow, we have a product range planned that's gonna come out over the next two or three years, new products, new vehicles, and we will need to broaden our supply base for those cars uh, as we grow as a company, and uh, yeah, we will be open to talking to any suppliers that could help us. Uh, so, uh, it's been wonderful to have our guests here today uh, and to be able to share with them, share with you the technology, uh, the innovation that is available in the UK. Um, I hope it's, it's hope, hope it's opened your mind uh, to, to what we can do over here and we are, we are open to partners from all over the world so we'd be interested in any Japanese suppliers or investors or anything that are interested in our business to come and talk to us. We. Uh, what we want to do in this company is we have an open door policy. So we try to be intimate with our customers, with our suppliers, with our investors. So if, if you're in the area of the east of England, feel free to come and see us and try the cars.